so one of my favorite places on the property is here in the washroom. Uh, you can see the two washes behind me, the security camera above, folding table, garbage can, dryers here, push baskets, and the doorway. So it's uh, just one of those profit centers. This is a 46 unit property here and we have 36 units done. We normally get anywhere between $250 to $400 a month in washroom money, so not bad. You know, it does kind of help with the electric bill. Uh, we lease the outdoor lighting and it is $350 a month, so pretty much the money from the washroom will pretty much cover the least outdoor lighting, if nothing else. So really don't make any money here on the property. but. You know, every little bit helps. You know, if I don't have to pay for least outdoor lighting, I can get it through the washing room. Hey, why not? Okay, so the sheetrock has been peeled back here just to give you guys a shot of what's happening behind the walls, behind the sheetrock, and uh, what kind of work the electricians have been putting in. We actually had the carpenters uh, make most of these cuts in the sheetrock for the electricians since they are the ones that are going to have to repair these. Uh, we normally just replace whole sheets of sheetrock, uh, at least the carpenters do, where they can. Oftentimes in single family residences you will see what they call Romig cable uh, to run the electrical wiring. But when you're dealing with commercial properties you have to have all of the copper electrical wiring concealed inside conduits inside the wall. Of course, all of this work will need to still be checked by the city, but I am very pleased with what I see. All right, this is Liam here. Just wanna kinda of show off what's been happening with the construction here on my property. What you see behind me here is actually the front door uh, of one of the units. So far we've gotten the electricians started and this is what all they have done in about two weeks worth of work and about $15,000. So we'll flip this, go to the next room here. So this is just one of the bedrooms, doorway into the bedroom, closet is there in the back corner. What you see on the other side of those 2x4s, those are the other units that are being worked on. We've got 46 units at this property, 10 in this building. So we'll go now to the second bedroom. These are all two bedrooms, one bathroom doorway into this bedroom it's kind of some of the work that they've gotten done so far in this particular unit we'll go on this is the bathroom entryway into the bathroom we've tried to get the plumbers started as well they've been a little behind just because of some issues with getting the uh, meters outside installed to get water into the building so you can see this behind me right here this sort of uh, wires all coming together here is where the main breaker box inside the unit is going to be so let's go check this is the kitchen you can kind of see this is the back door into the kitchen. This wall to my right is where the countertops and uh, range will be right behind me here. This other wall behind me here is more cabinets, sink, uh, and refrigerator in that corner behind me. So that's pretty much it with the progress that we made in this first couple of weeks for the electrician. So, we're still uh, trying to get this building completed here. Uh, just kind of a little shot of the neighborhood, the rest of the building here. Um, I won't be back until the 22nd, so I guess we'll wrap this up for today. 
and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. We'll see what kind of progress we've made at that at that point. Thanks, guys.